So for the last few years, you guys been asking me, Kevin, how do I find my prereqs? In today's video, I do a step-by-step -step with three additional tips on how to find your prereqs for pharmacy school. So if you are a pharmacy school, watch this video and share it to all your mother freaking friends who are interested in pharmacy school. Let's go. And before I start, I just want to ask you a question. What do you think the most overwhelming part of applying to pharmacy school is? I would love to hear your experience if you've already gotten into pharmacy school. And if you are an upcoming pharmacy student or thinking about pharmacy school, kind of write in the comments. Let me know below um, what's the most overwhelming thing for you. Let's start a discussion below and let's really just try to help each other. What's going on? It's your boy, Kevin Yi, the PharmD. Um, you know, I must get this question about like 10 times a day for the last, I don't know, when did I start my YouTube channel? 2014. So for the last five plus years, I've been getting this question literally almost every single day or every single week, even though it's kind of slowed down. There's not a lot, a lot of knowledge on how do you find your prereqs for pharmacy school? And so today in today's video, I kind of want to go step by step about uh, three tips about prerequisites for pharmacy school and also shoot you in in depth video and uh stay tuned for the last tip because i think it'll be the most important tip out of everything you get today stay tuned so chances are you're probably a pharmacy student someone who's interested in pharmacy looking to apply to pharmacy school and i get it i was there it was very overwhelming just because there's so many different things to keep track of. Oh, do I need organic chemistry? Oh, do I need calculus? Oh, do I need to take my PCAT? There's a lot of different things to keep track of. And these days it's so much easier to keep track of that rather than before, right? Just because technology is a lot better than when I started applying to schools in 2006 and later in 2010. And to be honest, no one really taught me how to kind of go find your prerequisites for any sort of school. Today, I just kind of want to give you the number one tool that I use to try to look for any prerequisites that I need to know, right? And first things first, you can do the old fashioned way and go through the school website and take a look at the prerequisites that every school has. And by the way, every school is a little different to be honest with you. So there's no one set, um, set prerequisites, but you will notice patterns with different pharmacy schools. But one of the major sites I love to use is actually Farmcast. And Farmcast is a great site where it really breaks down all your prerequisites for each and every program, right? It also gives you GPA. It also gives you the important date um, dates to keep track of when you're doing your pharmacy applications as well, as well as letting you know if there's any supplemental or anything like that. I highly, highly recommend that you use Farmcast. And to be honest, I probably would not apply to a pharmacy school unless it's your dream pharmacy school without Farmcast. Majority of schools probably use Farmcast. If they don't, they're probably in the Stone Age. And uh, it just keeps everything in one place. You literally can upload all your transcription uh, documents and all that sort of stuff. And it's one centralized hub for kind of applying to pharmacy school. Highly recommend it. So that's tip number one. Use Farmcast to apply for all your pharmacy application needs. Tip number two, you do not always need to take your peek at. I remember when I was in undergrad and I was applying to pharmacy, I was kind of debating whether I should have taken my PCAT. I remember I bought these books on the PCAT, studied for it and absolutely bombed it. I had horrible, horrible PCAT scores. I remember one of the pharmacy schools telling me, asking me, Hey Kevin, we really like your application a lot. Do you have any other PCAT scores? I'm like, Oh, not really because I didn't really want to take it again, but also it wasn't really my dream school. So I just didn't bother, but there are a lot of schools. And I think a lot of the schools are moving toward, um, not looking so much at the PCAT scores, but really taking a look at everything holistically. Yes. Yeah, some schools will require PCAT. You can find that all in Farmcast, which I'll show you in a second, but just keep in mind, you do not have to do PCAT and uh, there are a lot of different schools like my pharmacy school that I went to, they don't require PCAT. And as, as job saturation happens more and more, you'll find that it's a lot easier to get in and people are starting to lower their standards. So, uh, that's the second thing. Why at this point, why don't we kind of dive in and just really go through, um, how to use Farmcast and all that. I'll see you just in a bit. 
By the way, shameless plug, if you haven't already, make sure to like, comment, subscribe on my YouTube channel. If you want more pharmacy tips, subscribe to Refugee Hustle. I will be creating a pharmacy guide. So anything that you want to know about pharmacy school, looking for a job after, please let me know. Uh, I can create a guide and I'm just trying to collect all this information so I can create the best guide for you guys. All right back to the video all right this is farmcast guys it's one of my favorite sites uh that i used back in college i don't really use as much now that you know i'm not really a pharmacy uh or a student looking to get into pharmacy school but um you know they have tons of great information on this website uh literally they have a checklist so if you're preparing to apply this this uh farmcast will has everything that you need to know about applying to pharmacy school they also have a checklist making sure that you stay on top of everything um they have a pdf that you can print and um all these steps uh step by step i do highly recommend opening up a google calendar just so that you can keep track of all of the different schools that you're applying to whether there's a supplemental how far along have you moved across maybe i'll create a um, spreadsheet and really attach it in the in the comments below um but um it has everything that you need to do before after and all that as well so highly recommend that you take a look at that as well um and there's also important dates so this is for the year of 2019 but i mean it, they obviously update it and it tells you when the early decision deadlines and all these application deadlines are highly highly recommend opening up a google calendar inputting all these times and dates just so that in your google calendar with some alerts too just so that you stay on top of these deadlines as well more importantly um we also have a school directory um where you can click i want to become a pharmacist and it breaks down all these different schools when the farmcast deadline is was private or public highly recommend that if you have a, pu a pr public school in your state it's a lot cheaper and uh try to go there also with accreditation status right obviously these schools that are pre-candidate and whatnot they're really risky because you know you're gonna have to jump through hoops at the end of graduation and ra studying for your boards is already a daunting task so you want to make sure that you go to a fully accredited school unless you like being the gambodian and like to gamble so <laughs> if you like that want to go for a ride that'd be great and let's kind of go to my old school mcphs worcester click here and let's take a look at it really quick it has the contact information for um for who for the director of admission so if you want to contact them with any sort of questions you can do it also gives product program deadlines as well and also gives the accreditation status right um and it gives you the program information so um basically for this this campus there's multiple campuses but uh you're only allowed to apply to one campus at a time gives you all the information as well um and this is and also tells you hey what kind of program is it is it accelerated uh some of the other programs uh there will be like so if you see um they have a farm d master of public health major i didn't even know that to be honest with you and it tells you the structure of the farm d program so you can take a look at it um and all that i think the most important thing that you guys want to know is all your prerequisites so take a look at it is your basic sciences chemistry physics math um so some schools require calculus some schools don't and so i w really wish it was more solidified but honestly this is um this is pretty much everything you need to know about your prerequisites and by the way um cool fact you do not need to take all your prerequisites and also gives you some of the caveats with your prerequisites too like look um ap scores are accepted four or five only minimum grade of c not c minuses to require for the requirements need to be at a re regionally accredited institution and uh all prerequisite coursework must be completed before you go into the program as well i think that's really cool and like i said here's all the tests that you need to do so you don't need like you can see mcp does not require a pcat um like the things that you need to do if you're not a foreign student or if you're not a re regular student um 
and all that it gives you all this information so you really should do your research it also tells you how many different letters of references you need um with the school you only need one which is great also tells you about the interviews uh the details of the interviews of how many different interviews you get and um in this case it's on a rolling basis so if you are applying to farm school you want your best chances for your dream school make sure to apply as soon as possible if it's on a rolling basis a rolling basis is when you know they take applications as they come in as well um and they also talk about the deposit to hold if there's acceptance in the class so that's pretty much the breakdown of this program let's take a look at another program i don't know let's let's take university of Let's take USC, University of Southern California, which is a great school, shows you the director there, um, shows you the accreditation status, but let's go to program prerequisites, right? So again, calculus, human physiology, these are all the prerequisites. And let's kind of take a look at the PCAT. Oh, PCAT is also not uh, required or considered. So um, that's, that's awesome, right? So this is kind of what you need to know when navigating PCAT. If you have any other questions about about basic pharmacy stuff, let's say if you're interested in the job market for pharmacy and deciding, hey, you know, before I do all this work, I really should decide, hey, what is the job outlook? Uh, what is the job look outlook in pharmacy look like? What I recommend is going to the U.S. Bureau of Labor, and this is a great website where you can see median pay, uh, what's required, how to become a pharmacist, right? Um, all that sort of stuff um, as well. It also shows you job outlook. So it goes into more detail about the pay compared to other, other professions. Where are most of these people making money? Um, and the job outlook, which is really important, right? You can see the growth for pharmacists has really slowed down a lot. Um, and all that and that there's only going to be about 17,000 jobs later. Um, another really great site if you're applying to pharmacy school is another great resource is actually look at the AACP and the vital statistics. Uh, you can see how many different uh, pharmacy schools. There's a uh, basically 143 different pharmacy schools. So there's no way I could tell you all the prerequisites for this. Um, but check this out. Really great information. Also tells you how many people graduated. Um, last year and how many different faculty members um and if you take a look if you take a look down here it'll tell you about fifteen thousand people uh got their first professional degrees in pharmacy so it tells you how many people kind of graduated uh over the year so i highly take a uh, would take a look right there all right now on to the next tip see you guys in a bit awesome so that that's pretty much a step-by-step -step how to use farmcast and uh here's another tip i would recommend is that you don't really need to have all your different prerequisites uh before you apply to pharmacy school as long as the majority of them are done um this is literally what i did i literally hat was missing about four four different programs so what i did was during the summertime i actually took six different classes during at a community college because all i really need to do is make sure that i hit that minimum of that c <laughs> that c average for mcp and just make sure that i have it going forward now not all schools uh can do this so make sure to check farmcast and see what their requirements are for the prerequisites but this might be a really great uh, strategy if you're trying to um if you're trying to save a lot more money because community college is a lot more cost effective than four-year university and here's the last thing prereqs are important but it's not the end-all be-all that's really at the end of the day you should really be clear on your mission statement why you want to do pharmacy you should be really clear about your unique selling proposition or your brand your personal brand um at the end of the day prerequisites are really just a cherry on top and you have to really think about what makes you different from other pharmacists right and uh that is something that you know is the age-old question well how do i well, how do I differentiate myself for pharmacy applications? If you guys are curious about this, leave this in the comments. 
ask me what are your biggest questions about kind of differentiating yourself tell if you did get into pharmacy school tell me a little bit about how you differentiate yourself i think it's more important to look and also where you want to be career wise and reverse engineering every single step of the way so you have more clarity on your interviews and all that well that's pretty much all my tips um like i said in the video what i am working on is i'm working on a pharmacy guide just to help you guys and just really shove all <laughs> my questions to pharmacy i feel like you get so many of the same questions so i'm really trying to try and create a central guide um i might create a google doc as well just to help you organize all your pharmacy um schools as well so at the end of the day i just want to kind of give you all the resources but if you haven't already i would highly suggest you watch my controversial video about why pharmacy is not a good career i'll leave it in the link below um just so that you can see both sides of the picture I'm not saying pharmacy is a bad career but you need to know exactly why you're doing it i think at the end of the day so check out the links in the description subscribe to refugee hustle for all the resources and tools that i'm going to give you and um yeah hit like comment subscribe to this video i'll talk to you later peace